welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be doing a journal spread for the week of February 8th through 14th. This is Valentine's Day week, but I'm not doing an explicitly Valentine's Day theme. I'm actually going to be using some stickers from my friend Claire's shop. She recently released these Bridgerton stickers, which I've been obsessed with this show lately. So I wanted to use those in my journal this week. And I'm going to be pairing them with the new floral sticker book, which came in that Happy Goals bundle. Because it has a lot of really cute, like, white flowers, and I think those will match up pretty well. Here are the stickers that I pulled from that sheet. So not a whole lot of them, but it's a journal spread, so I want to leave some space to do some writing. To start things off, I have this sticker that says, list two things that you're grateful for. And I normally do gratitude over here in the sidebar, so I thought this would be good this week for that. It's a weird shape, but you really can't tell once it's on the paper because it is white backed. So there isn't a, like a set outline to it. I'm going to put this one that says find the joy up here on Monday. And I'm going to push it up into the upper left corner so I can do a little bit of layering with clear stickers. I'd like to put these leaves right here, but that requires a little bit of white out. And now that that's in place, we can go ahead and put the leaves overlapping just slightly. And then I'll take a teacup and put it right here. I'm going to extend that white out down a little lower so you're not seeing the black line through the teacup. These are lighter stickers. The color scheme is so beautiful and delicate. And I just want to make sure that you're not getting any miscellaneous lines. So go with that. I'm going to put this floral sticker down here and I'm also going to put that into the corner of the box just so I can keep layering things. I'd love to put this sticker right here or that one even. So I'm gonna white out just a little bit. I'm still using that white gel pen just because I don't wanna bother with the bigger white out right now. So I think this one will be good just because it's a longer quote. I'm gonna go ahead and place this one and it's gonna overlap into those flowers, but I like the way that looks. So this one says, if there is a scandal, I shall uncover it. If you haven't seen the show, these are all like phrases and icons from the show. It's on Netflix right now. I really enjoyed it. I'll probably watch it again. I'm gonna stick a bee in there on the flower, just as a little touch. And then I'm gonna go with some white out over here because I do wanna put a floral cluster at the bottom of this page. This is the last large floral cluster that I have from this book. I've been loving this sticker book so much. I wish I could get a second, but they're sold out right now. They came back in stock briefly, but they sold out again within like two hours. So maybe if they restock one more time, I'll get the bundle. It comes with this floral book, the gold one with the retro typography, and also jewel tone boxes, as well as a storage box for your sticker books. I'm going to leave it at just that for now, and I'm going to put this one up here on Sunday with the white rose. This one says good things will happen. I don't mind the like slate blue coloration because there is a glove on the Bridgerton sticker sheet that is that same color. I'd like to do something similar with the leaves. So I just removed a section of the line using white out again leaves are going here. I wasn't a huge fan of this set because they do have that like more purpley color in them whereas these ones are just solid green but I'm kind of out of leaves so these are my last options. I'm debating whether or not I want to do the glove over here. I don't like it how it looks like it's reaching onto the flower you know like maybe like down here at the bottom is better. I kind of like that so that one's gonna go there. I'd like to place this one that said happy list, but I also want to layer it with this um, copy of Lady Whistledown Society Papers. So I'm thinking layering it like this will be our best bet. So I'm going to pre-attach the stickers before I even put them onto the page. I'm going to go like that. And this one's going to go on Friday because I can't do it on Thursday with this hanging off the side of it. But I will need some white out. So this one is going to go up here at the top of Friday so I can make a happy list. Oh, that looks so good. I think I'd like to define the edge of this shape a little bit more. I have some leaves that I'll just cut the edge off of and stick them off of it. So this sticker is going to go right here. 
makes it obvious that this sticker is supposed to be pointed. And I just love that layering, that's so good. There's not gonna be a lot of writing room on Friday, but I'll make do with what's there. Now we need to finish off what's going on with this floral cluster down here. I'm gonna start with this box, which plays a role in the show and I'm trying not to spoil things. So I won't tell you exactly what everything is, but watch the show, I recommend it. I'm going back into that florals book and grabbing some little page flags like this one. And these are nice because I use them to write down like a word that describes the day or a mood. So if I'm feeling happy, I'll put happy there or tired or any mood you can think of, but the page flag is a nice space for that. I'm gonna incorporate a few of them into the spread. I don't have a whole lot of these stickers, especially in this particular pale pink color, but we're making do with what we have. This one's gonna go up here. I'm gonna layer it slightly into Mondays, but I think it's gonna fall on Tuesday. And you know, Monday and Tuesday typically share the same mood because they're basically the same schedule. So I don't have a lot going on on those days. I'd like to add in one more for good measure. I'm thinking up here, I'm just not sold on it, you know? So maybe over here, but then it's two of them on Saturday. So that doesn't work. I could do it in the same floral cluster, but I don't really like having two of them stick off of it. Or I could do it onto that. This is very difficult to decide. Hmm. And I don't want to layer them over each other like this. Although it's not the worst thing in the world. Let me just test that. No, I don't mind that because they're slightly different colors of pink. This one's a little bit darker than that one. So I'm gonna keep it as that. I'm bringing in another one of these quote stickers that's gonna go down here. This one says, the social season is upon us. I love the typography that she picked for these quotes. It's just so appropriate for the show. I'm not a huge fan of this section over here that says check in, how are we making progress? So I'm just gonna wipe that one out. I don't actually use this to check in. It's just been blank in the last few spreads I've done. And then I'm gonna cover it up with this one right here that says all is fair in love and war. I think that looks much better. I wanna put something in this box though. I'm gravitating towards this glass but there's a teacup right there and they're kind of similar in shape. So it's hard to have them right next to each other. Oh, this could also be fun right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one there. I'm just playing around with all of the stickers on the sheet. I ordered two of these because I love them so much and I had two distinct concepts of what I wanted to do with them. So maybe I'll see them in my catch-all at some point but I'm doing a journal spread to start out with. I've kind of been on a TV show kick in my journal lately. If I flip this page over, you'll see some Schitt's Creek stickers that I got from Create with Mandy. And now we're doing Eau Claire's Creations Bridgerton stickers. And I didn't mention this earlier in the video, I totally forgot. I will include a link to the sticker sheet down below. I don't currently have a coupon code for her shop to share with you. I am no longer an ambassador, I'm just that loyal of a customer because I just love her stickers so much. So I'll include a link for you to purchase them. They're reasonably priced, so coupon code or not, definitely recommend picking yourself up a sheet of these stickers if you love the show as much as I do. I'm still thinking about what's gonna go in that blue section. I have this one here, same rose as that one, and it's the same quote, but if I use it, I would just cut the quote off of the top. I kind of just want it to like lean in I think that would be really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off where it says good things will happen. And thankfully it doesn't intersect the flower in any way. So we will be good once the coat is off. And maybe I can even salvage it so the quote can be used somewhere else. Okay, so we have a flower and we have a quote. Now that those pieces are separate, this one is gonna get placed right here. I'm gonna trim the edge. I did cover up where it says this week's focus, but that's not the biggest deal. That's looking really good. I want something up here at the top of this though. I wish I had another flower to kind of move in from the other side. I'm gonna flip through the sticker book again and see if there's anything similar. I did find this pink one and I was trying to stay away from the pink because I really wanted to keep it as white roses 
But when I'm bringing in those pink tones over there, like, I don't know, I think it's just a little too much. I'm gonna keep searching. So I don't have any larger flowers left. I'm just gonna put a few of these tiny little roses. I've mentioned it before and I'll say it again. Definitely recommend white jelly roll pens. They're the perfect tool for just whiting out lines and getting really exact. Like sometimes you can still see through them a little bit, but it really does a good job of removing those white lines, sorry, removing those black lines from behind clear stickers and opaque stickers for that matter if they're light stickers. So I have two of them in place right now, but I'd like them in a cluster of three. So that one's going there. I'm gonna add another cluster of three down here to bring that same kind of like arrangement elsewhere in the spread. So I cut the edge off of that one so it would line up with the edge of the page. And then I'm gonna put two more around it. So one more right there and the final one right here. And so it just isn't too, I'm gonna wipe this line out up here and place the last one over here. I normally do like a colorful box on each day to mark like one fun thing or one good thing that happened each day. I'm not gonna do it in this spread because I think it's gonna get to be a lot. I can just do that in my regular like journaling writing. So I'm gonna keep it at that and maybe I'll use these page flags for that purpose just on those four days. So I'm left with two stickers on my Bridgerton sticker sheet. I have a white rose, which I think it's fine because I used different white roses. And then I have this one that's the necklace or you could flip it around and theoretically make it a tiara if you really wanted to. I'm like deciding if I wanna use it or not. Like, would it be weird just to have it over here? I feel like it looks just so random there. So I'm gonna save it for a different spread. And there you have it, my Bridgerton journal spread. So if you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photo spreads that did not get videos. So I hope to see you there. Thank you and happy planning.